Today, we are going to review A-B testing. This is my desk set up for the interview. I know it looks like nighttime right now, but it's actually 10.30 a.m. in the morning. It's just so gloomy today, raining all day. I think it's raining most of the week too. And I have north facing windows, so I already don't get enough sunlight in this apartment. So today is just a really, really dark day for me. Anyways, I wanted to quickly update you all on the interview process. So in the last video, I mentioned that I had two more interviews with company A, the hiring manager call and the product case study. And I passed both of them. And they also leveled me, so they told me that I will be going in as a senior for the final rounds, which is really exciting and also really validating to hear. The final rounds are going to be next week. I have that booked and scheduled, so I have a whole week to study. So there are four interviews for the final rounds. I think it's gonna span like five to six hours in total, like a whole day kind of thing. I started talking to company A four weeks ago. After I finish the final round interviews next week, in total, if you count the initial HR screen, I would have had eight individual interviews with them, which is a lot. So yeah, that is my little update. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the week studying, and I also sprinkled some social events here and there just to keep me sane. Today we are going to review A-B testing. For A-B testing or experimentation interviews, interviewers may present hypothetical scenarios or real-world examples and ask candidates to describe how they would design an A-B test to evaluate the effectiveness of different strategies or features. Key concepts that candidates may need to demonstrate proficiency in during A-B testing interviews include experimental design, hypothesis formulation, statistical analysis, and interpretation of results. Overall, A-B testing is a fundamental concept in data science and Proficiency in designing and analyzing A-B tests is often considered an essential skill for data science roles, especially those focused on product analytics, marketing analytics, or experimentation. This may be obvious, but experimentation goes hand in hand with statistics. A-B testing is essentially an application of statistical methodology to experimental design and analysis, making statistical knowledge indispensable for effectively conducting and interpreting A-B tests. Even though I studied computer science and took my fair share of math classes, when I when I first started off as an associate data scientist, I actually took a stats course through Khan Academy to deepen my understanding of foundational statistics. It's not a short course by any means, and it actually took me a couple of months to complete as I was going through the material leisurely. However, a strong foundation in statistics is not only important for getting started in data science, but also for advancing and excelling in your career. Statistics underpins every aspect of data science, from data exploration to modeling to decision making, and empowers us to extract meaningful insights and drive impactful business outcomes. If you're in academia or not working in the field, it will be difficult to get hands-on A-B testing practice. However, you can still deepen your theoretical knowledge, and I've heard great things about this course by Udacity. Fun fact, two years ago, I actually TA'd a data science class where I taught a lesson on A-B testing every semester, so I created my own slides. It's super basic, a simple and general introduction to A-B testing, but I'll link the deck below for those of you who are interested in checking it out.
Okay, it's arts and crafts time right now. I know you see this pimple right here. There's also one right here. And there's only two reasons why I break out. One is because I'm on my period, which I'm currently not. And two is because I'm stressed. When my pimples are really red, like this one, I like to first go in with a green concealer to offset the color. And then I layer on my concealer. It literally covers everything. We cannot forget about blush. I'm gonna layer on two colors. The first is Chili by Say and the second one is Peach Crunch by Cleo. Okay. I feel like the blush just adds so much color to my face. It makes me look more awake. It makes me look alive. It makes me look excited to be here. That's exactly what I want. Add a little more. Okay, this is the final round interview outfit. The top is from Love Bonito. It's ribbed, it's cropped, it's also actually short sleeved, but I threw on a cardigan from Nordstrom. And then my pants are just my usual ones from Aritzia. And I just try to keep this outfit clean, minimal, professional. Obviously, they're just gonna see me waist up. And most importantly, comfy because I'm going to be sitting all day. Very quickly, this is my desk set up for the interview. I have my laptop. I like to attach it to my monitor. I also have my mini whiteboard and I love to use this for casing, for drawing out diagrams or even writing pseudocode. It is very helpful. This is my notebook where I like to write down more permanent information. So things about the team, things about the interviewer, any follow-up questions that I have. And then I have my cup of coffee, which I already demolished, and my really big cup of water. And I also have this little sticky note right here. The other night I was deep into studying and for some reason I just felt so down and tired. So I went on Pinterest and I looked up some manifestation quotes and I wrote some down on this sticky note. The first thing I wrote is, I know my shit. The second is, I'm a kick ass data scientist. The third is, I am qualified for the career I want. And lastly, I wrote, I will get the job because I am the best candidate. So every morning when I sit my butt down at this desk, before I open my laptop, I see this fluorescent orange sticky note 
and I read through these quotes in my head and I just feel so much better. I feel more confident and that is the energy that I'm bringing to the interviews today. So if you struggle with self-confidence or imposter syndrome, I would highly recommend you do this little activity. I have a long day ahead. I have a total of four interviews. I'll actually start my morning off syncing with the recruiter for 15 minutes and then I have two interviews in the morning, break for lunch, two interviews in the afternoon, and then I have a half hour like informal conversation with the hiring manager. It's gonna be quite a long day and I am extremely nervous. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm gonna try my best and obviously I will update you all later and wish me luck. Oh my God, we are finally done. It is a little past 4.30. I'm so happy that the sun is still out. It makes me feel like there's still time to my day, but I literally have just been sitting at my desk all day, barely even ate lunch. Am I hungry? I don't think so. I think I'm still just really nervous and anxious. For the third interview, I think I did okay. The last interview though, questionable. It was the behavioral interview. It was the bar raiser with the head of data science. I think I did so much better than when I recruited in the fall for sure, but I couldn't really gauge if they liked me or if they liked my answer since it's really open-ended and there really is no correct answer. It's just like, did you have the best answer and are you the best candidate? So I guess that one's kind of up in the air, we'll see. And since today is towards the end of the week, I highly doubt I'll hear back about results until sometime next week. I also know for sure that I'm not the only candidate, so it also depends on when they're done and then when feedback comes in and then I'm sure they're gonna discuss and then make a decision. So I think the worst part is the wait after you take a test or after you, you go through these interviews, you just wait. I know I'm gonna be so anxious throughout the entire weekend, probably all of next week. Depends on when they wanna tell me their decision. I should keep myself distracted somehow. I do have some plans with some friends tomorrow, but I should plan stuff for the weekend so I just like don't think about things. Since the sun is up, I think I'll go out for a walk and I'll buy myself something yummy along the way because I deserve it. first time where I'm like out during the day going to an event with a friend and Grab then it's Grab a casual Thursday afternoon yeah and then we're like filming our outfits on the streets I'm like this full New York City content creator yeah. right here like I'm living the life <laughs> I'm not about that. <laughs> 